Okay, this week we're going to show you how to turn a tired looking big rig into one that looks like a million bucks. We'll show you how to do a blood test on some of your engine's vital fluids. All that and more on Motorhead Garage. Now, oil analysis is something a lot of fleets do, a lot of indep independent truckers do. Why is it important? Well, it's funny you say that. A lot of guys don't do it. Some do it, but, but a lot of guys don't. Why it's so important is it's no different than you going to the doctor and getting your heart report back after your blood test. Truly, that's what it is. It's a blood test for your truck. So you're taking some oil out of the, uh, sample of the oil out of the engine and testing it to find out what's going and on. So what we do is we simply extract the oil, put it here in the machine, mm -hmm. dip it down, and hit the start button and what that does is over a 15 minute period it'll analyze all the wear metals inside that motor. And once you do that what do you get out of it then? What, what, you, you, what you do is you get a report and that report can either be good, it can be bad, it can be a, a number of different things but you know you, you talked earlier about extending drain intervals actually this report tells me that this guy hasn't changed his oil in quite some time and also he's got uh, he's got antifreeze in his oil. Okay so I see you got all these different wear metals in here and it's got like a percentage here I guess of how much wear there is taking place right? Correct. Okay so I guess these engines sooner or later are going to have to be overhauled the question is is when and try to determine exactly when's a good time to do that before you get in a serious problem. Well the interesting part about this is once an abnormal sample is taken immediately uh, via email through our website, a, uh, a fleet manager will get this, this, this email sent to him and say, hey, you've got an abnormal sample sitting in a rush truck center somewhere. What do you want to do with this? And it gives him that information. Now, I notice here you've got red. There's red highlighted and there's yellow. What's the red mean? The red means you got a problem today. You need to deal with that today while it's in the bay. And what's that showing us here? That's showing us we've got some potassium in and we've also got some sodium in there along with the coolant. So we got a coolant leak in there. We got a coolant leak. All right, now show me what that can do. A coolant leak, it, it can be devastating. I can tell you, if you look at this cylinder here, you can see the uneven, unevenness of the rust yeah. and the pitting, which will eventually leave the hole right in the cylinder wall. This is what they call cavitation? Absolutely. So that'll just gradually chip away the cylinder wall until you get a little hole poked in there and then you get your coolant. We, we like to call this the silent killer. Okay. Nobody ever looks at coolant. Now how can you eliminate that? Typically what you do, you treat this exactly like you do a PM. This is a brand new technology that's on the market. Mm -hmm. You take the coolant sample, just like very similar that you did the oil sample, you place it in, and within one minute, it's gonna tell you what your pH is on, on your coolant. And why is that important to keep that pH balanced? Well, you gotta make sure that you have the correct freeze points, the correct DCA, SCA levels, and, and more importantly, you wanna make sure that a driver's not going there and putting water in your system and contaminating it. Well, now you can see how important this is to keep track of what's going on in your engine, not only for long life, but also to help control the cost, right? Absolutely. All right, this is a good deal. This is something that everybody should do.